In this tutorial, we're going to learn to create screencast videos in Articulate Storyline. We're going to start with a blank slide. Let's come up to Record Screen. What that does is it sends the Storyline application to the back and it opens up this recording window. So you can see I can move that around. Now what I'll point out is if you look down at the bar, you'll notice that the aspect ratio or dimensions of the recording window are going to match the dimensions or settings that you have for your course. In this case, it's 720 by 540. Now that's pretty small, so that may not work for every application you're recording. So a couple things you can do. One is you can come in here and change your settings. So you can see I can select a window. I can keep it at the 4-3 aspect ratio, or I can move it to 16-9, or I can record full screen. Now the other thing is you can come over here and just click and drag from one of the corners, and that'll scale the window. So it'll keep it at the same aspect ratio as your course uh, and yet make the window larger. And then you can take the recording application. In this case we're going to record PowerPoint. And then you can size that to fit into your window. And so this looks fine for what we're going to do. Now before you record, let's look at some of the options we have. Down here you've got your red record button. Here you can select your microphone. And then over here you can set some settings for your recording. We'll just keep everything set at default. Hit cancel. Let's go ahead and record a video. Now we're inside of PowerPoint. What we'll record is the process of inserting a shape into a PowerPoint slide and then animating it. And that'll allow us also to see some of the editing properties we have later uh, in Storyline. So let's go ahead and hit record. You'll get a countdown. Now at this point we're ready to record. So I can see the audio track moving. I'm going to click on the screen and let's go ahead and insert a shape. So click insert. So we're going to insert a shape. So I'm going to click on shapes. I'll just insert a rectangle. I'll put it up here on top of the screen. Now what I want to do is animate the rectangle. So I'm going to go to the animations tab. And then I'm going to come over here to add animations. And then I want it to fly in and I can see it flying in. Now I may want it to fly in a little slower. So now here's some text entry. So we're going to set it to three seconds and hit enter. And then let's go ahead and open up the animations pane. And then let's play this. And we can see that it's playing for three seconds. And so that looks pretty good. So when you're done recording, all you have to do is hit done. That's going to process the video. And that opens up this window where we can see our video. I can preview the video. Now at this point we're ready to record. So I can see the audio track move. So I can see that the video's there. I can title the video. In this case we may call it PowerPoint Animation. So it's good to title those and you'll see why later. And then you have a couple of options. You can insert this as a video on a single slide. And so it'll just be like any other video that you insert on a slide in Storyline. Or you can insert as a step-by-step -step slide. So you can create the simulation effect. And then you have three modes. You can insert it as a view mode so somebody can kind of follow along with you. You can do a try mode where they can actually do the things that you're doing. So if, if I click on the insert tab, they need to click on the insert tab. And then you can also do a test mode where they have to demonstrate that they're able to do those things uh, that you're trying to teach. And then you have the option of inserting that into a new scene or to an existing scene. And then you can also title the scene. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll, first one we'll just insert as a video. And then we'll see what our options are once the video is on the slide. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Insert. And once it's done processing, you can see that it created a slide. Let's go ahead and double click on that. And as you can see, it's just like any other slide in Storyline. I have a timeline down here. The video is just sitting on the timeline. I've got my player triggers and my slide layers. So I can do on this slide anything that I would do on any other slide. So this is really just like an object on the screen. Now if I want to edit the video, I can double click on it. And that opens up my video tools. And you can see you've got a few options. I can preview the video. I can adjust the video volume. There's an edit video button which we'll look at in a future tutorial. And here I can choose how I want to display my video. Do I want it in the slide or do I want it to open in a new window? 
Uh, do I want it to play automatically or do I want the user have to have to click it? Here I can add controls below the video. Uh, the other option is I can add controls to the player. So if I go over to my player properties here on my base layer, that opens up my slide properties and you'll notice you've got your custom selection and you can choose seek bar, if hit OK. Now if I preview this, and as you can see you have a slide on the screen and there's a seek bar down here on the player. I can play. I can pause. I can scrub through the seek bar to get to specific parts in the video or I can replay. Now at this point we're ready to Let's go ahead and close this. So once you've recorded the video and it's on the screen, then you can do whatever you want to with it. So for example, let's say you wanted to have a help layer in here you can insert a help layer. Let's insert a button. So we'll just do a test here. Let's insert a button and let's say this is our help. And I want you to click on that if you have a question. So we'll create a help layer. And then maybe I want to have some information about PowerPoint. So I'm just going to insert a little shape here. We'll just do a shape on top of the help button. And then we can format that. Let's make it look. We'll just do a sleek format here. And this could have some information. We'll just put our placeholder stuff in here. Got some placeholder text in here. And so what I want to do is at any point in the video, I may want to expose some help information. So I'm going to put a trigger on the button here. So what do I want to do? When do I want to do it? I want to show layer. Let's use my help layer when the user clicks the button. And then on the help button, I'm just going to put a trigger on the actual layer to close that. So we'll do hide layer, this layer when the user clicks. So if I'm playing my course, now at this point and I've got the videos course, playing, and let's say I have a question, I can have a help button come up, on the screen, and let's go get ahead some information, I can close insert. it. Help, now close it. Now let's say I want to pause recording. the video. I'll show you how we would do that. If I want to pause it when I get to the help layer, because I don't want that audio to keep playing, I just come up to my layer properties, and you can see that there's an option to pause the timeline of the base layer. Well, the video is on the timeline of the base layer, so if I hit OK, watch what happens. Preview the slide. Now, at this point, we're ready to record. So, so I you can, can hear the video. Now, the video paused. I'm going to go ahead and read my help information, close it, I'm going to click on the and the screen. video takes off again. Insert a shape, so click insert, pause, close. I'll point a few things out while I'm recording. So that's what you would do when you're working with video. So you record the screen, you insert it as a video. At that point, it's just like any other slide, and you can just do whatever you want to. In this case, I showed you how to use a simple button in layers and layers and create a simple interaction. But you really have the full range of everything you can do in Storyline. That's just a matter of going out there and practicing this so that you become really good at recording your videos and inserting those into your slides.